Today's video is basically going to be showing you how to save in Logic an MP3. Now, things I want you to pay attention to. Uh, once you have the Logic file open, of course, that you select the area or the full song uh, that you want to bounce down as an MP3. Up here, the loop bar will select that whole area. Another way of doing it is also you could select the physical file. So for instance, if I come over here, that would just bounce down that single file or here, that full length. So with a song that is fully edited, you may want to just use the loop bar loop function that selects the whole song. I wanted to make it shorter. I could make it so it only bounces down here, for instance, 21 bars. Right now, the whole song is approximately 41. So I'm going to go ahead and loop the full song. Now, the next step, once you've selected what you want to bounce down, you're going to come over to File, click Hold, go down, and you'll notice right here, Bounce. The Bounce function will bounce down the song. Uh, now, what we want to do is the selection or the project, which we've already selected our area. Notice that I have uh, MP3 already selected here. You, of course, can do multiple formats. Right now, I just want to make sure, since we're doing an MP3, is to have the MP3 selected. If you notice, also clicking on the different formats will give you different parameters. MP3 is the one we're doing, so our bitrate is what I'd like to make sure you set up. If you recall, your bitrate is how the quality of the MP3 will be. Our highest bitrate is 320, it's the highest quality, and 32 kilobits per second is the lowest. Now the 32 will be a much smaller file, which in some cases is helpful, but you definitely lose quality at that point. Uh, we're audio professionals, so we want to make sure you have the highest quality. So make sure that they're both 320 kilobits per second. Once you've done that, hit OK. Another window will pop up. At that point, it tells you that you can save this as whatever name you want. I'm just going to go ahead and name it Song 1. Now my destination, as you can see, I'm having it sent to the desktop. You could send it to wherever you want. Um, just navigate around accordingly. But I just want it to be to the desktop. It's going to be named song1.mp3. The mp3 will be added automatically by the computer. So I hit bounce. You notice it's bouncing it down. And the file. Oops, the file ends up popping up on the desktop. You can notice it's called Song 1 MP3. If you just click on it, you actually can hear the audio. Just to make sure, it's always a good idea to play it just to verify you got exactly what you wanted. That's how you create an MP3 bounce down from your Logic file. 